All right, everyone. Welcome to the Organ Trail Director's Cut. I've certainly played and broadcasted this game a number of times throughout the years. Uh, this will be my first time playing through the complete edition, although I've certainly seen the complete edition before. I think it's my first time. Whatever the case, here we are with this moment. Uh, this run will definitely take some time. The Organ Trail is a long game. So... This is going to be carrying us probably for the next three, three and a half hours. I legit don't know. Uh, my schedule says I'll be playing this until midnight. But should I finish this and still be in the mood to play another game, I probably won't play Oregon Trail again. Uh, again tonight, do another run. I guess it depends on kind of how, uh, how badly this run goes. Because it could go pretty unwell. In which case, I will sort of start over again. We'll see. Anyway, we're just going to go ahead and straight up play. Uh, new game, campaign. Uh, we'll probably do this on difficult. I think we'll do this on difficult. No co-op mode. As for the character, yeah, I've definitely never done this part before. We're going to be the dude. Typical dude. Um, I don't care about Clements. Let's see our party leader. Ah. It'll be Death or Glory. I think it's fitting, even if Death or Glory is no longer around. And we're gonna have Nova. We're gonna have Vorkat. We're gonna have the Corgi, yes. Just drop. Oh, well, we're gonna have... You. Hmm. <laughs> hello, hello, welcome, Anthwolf. As for the vehicle we're going to choose, we have access to the basic station wagon. That's what we're going to be, everyone, the basic station wagon. As for the supplies I want to bring along, a little bit across the board, maybe? Feels insufficient somehow. Like maybe not money since I can find that anywhere that I want, but in exchange. Food. And I could get like food whenever I want too, right? But we'll bring along a little bit of something and like these spare parts. I'd probably be able to get those whenever I want. Now we'll just be average across the board. Choose my route. Sure. So this map's a thing. Why don't we start off by going to the Gorge Bridge and drive into radioactive land. What the hell? Sure, we'll explore. You see a strange looking creature in the bushes from this distance. It kind of looks like some kind of monstrous half man, half deer. I think it's like a person who's like, Cosplaying? We'll kill it. Oh. Akazar got attacked. Welp. That happened. We're gonna go turbo pace because, again, applying my old reasoning, the um, longer you spend in one of these games, the more bad random events you'll get. And yes, once upon a time... Well, Oregon Trail has had quite some history to it. That history doesn't matter. We're in a radioactive area. We need to go as fast as possible to get out of this radioactive area. We're immediately surrounded by zombies. Neat. Is the music volume level still good in comparison to me? It almost sounds as if the music is flared up. So I'm making sure. Okay. Good. Boop. No. 
goddamn mutated zombie. I know, mutated zombie. My aim on these defense missions. I'm already not liking this. Peep is a little bit loud. That's what I'm thinking. We're gonna crank that down. We're gonna crank that down for me, too. Let's go. But my peeps. Be aggressive. Wow, good work for a cat, making everyone somber. Jeez. Fun spoil sport? Okay. One well, of the gas tanks is filled with water, that's good. I mean, why would it be full of anything nice? Like gumdrops and rainbows. Ah, how about that? Win some, you lose some. Ah, stupid zombie. Captain Breakdown. Mmm. <laughs> French fry crumbs. Alright, that's enough of that. Time to keep getting grease all over my keyboard and mouse. Ooh. You go over here. You go here. Oh. <sighs> what you got for me, combat trainer? Kid scavenger, that's pretty useful. What kind of jobs you got for me here? Oh, suicidal recovery, sure, whatever. I know I don't want to dwell too long in this radiation zone here. No, uh, yeah, that's why I really haven't bothered doing any scavenging or something like that. Oh boy. You. You need to stop that creepy shit. If the car runs out of health, we're basically stuck in place until we get a way to repair it. No kidding. Pretty good shot. I am pleased with myself. Basically, we have to get enough scratch to repair it. Like, unlike, say, in, like, Death Road to Canada, where if your vehicle breaks down, uh, you are start walking on foot. So a bandit has come over there. Oh, just missed him. I'm steal my foods. There he goes. Rude bandit. All this radiation makes scavenging not easy. But I just wanted to grab Medkit's scavenger. We're out of here. Uh-huh. I'm sure. Let's go. Must cross a horde of zombies that are large and ravenous. We're too broke. They're probably gonna get worse as time goes on. Docile, okay. Let's attempt to sneak through. <laughs> well, we lost a battery. No big deal. We'll get over it. Just drops, sits down wrong, and just loses a bunch of health. So that secondary bar is a radio, uh, radioactive like contamination. That'll dissipate over time whenever we're out of a radioactive zone. 
but if that accumulates up too much, we'll die of radioaction, radiation sickness. Which is why I don't want to spend too much time loitering or scavenging in this radioactive area. A gang of bandits comes barreling down on us. Okay. Hit ramps to do wicked sweet jumps. Oh, my vehicle doesn't have much health. We might actually lose the run now. Oh dear. Yes, wicked sweet jumps. So amazing. So wicked sweet. Look at that. Gotta read it quickly with these obstacles. Too close to the left side of the screen. Okay. Well, that was fun. Or are the bandits all Michelangelo? Don't judge them. Super last muffler. Less likely for the muffler to break. Yeah, no, I'm not feeling it. I'm gonna have and use some scrap. You've never seen better content anywhere on Beam. Beam. Oh, we're out of food. Oh. Oh, we're out of food. Oh. 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 Oh, we're out of... Ooh. Ooh. That's, uh... Whoops. <laughs> I knew I was low on food. Didn't know I ran out. Rest at pepperoni health. Okay, I don't like this. Is it five dollars worth it? Well, we're gonna try for it. Better step back, Mr. Bandit. Alright, 15 ounces of food. Uh, graveyard for 40 ammo. I guess we'll do it. I've never done a graveyard one before. forbid we like go over the fence in the back right we have to go through like the the government approved government sanctioned entrance way <laughs> whatever we got 40 bullets out of it that was worthwhile actually gonna leave. we're gonna repair the vehicle a bit more before i go i want to confirm that i'm out of this radioactive zone before i start scavenging around a whole lot Okay, the radio action was uh, was dropping a little bit there, so that's comforting. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Let's go to the farmland in Bark. You're out of food. Try scavenging for more. I'm gonna. Game, don't be pushy. I just wanted to wait till we left that area for sure, and... Oh no. Oh no, you little boo thing. No shyness here. Only death. I'm not used to being this short on food in this game. Probably because I spend so little time scavenging. 
because of the radiation area I decided to run it at the beginning. Nah, you guys will be fine. Don't worry, chat. You'll be fine. Or if you wanted to be mutated, I guess you could worry. We have plenty of prizes to get. We uh, should see the occasional medkit actually drop too, courtesy of the perk that we spent $80 on. If we don't, I, I would find that to be sad. That's my money. That's right, you better step off. Excuse me, sir, trying to abscond with my funds. How many ounces of food? Um, we're eating three ounces of food per person per hour. Actually, we're eating two. We'll make that three. I know, that's pretty cool, right? <laughs> we'll scavenge one more time. Here comes the money! That's right, three ounces an hour. Come on, you. Ow. Ow. There is a limitation on how much food you can carry back to the vehicle as well. It's like 200, 250 pounds. Hey, Katie. Yeah, good scavenging this round for sure. sickness. Cut. After this hour, we will stop. Oh, boy. No. Damn right I did. It has been. It has been, Kronos. I agree. Hello, Otaku Dash. Alright, anyway. 1 p.m.? Let's go ahead and... That's nah, not the button I meant to press. Let's give everyone an hour-long nap. Oh yeah, I can go fish in this game. Fishing has the same benefits as resting, plus you can catch extra food or spare parts. Same benefits as resting. Which means I might as well just do it when I rest. Unless I don't want to bother with this. Got a frog! I like the fishing minigame in Stardew Valley more. Yeah, so fish all the time if I'm gonna rest. Unless I don't want to bother with it. Salmon, three ounces of food. Neat. Let's go ahead and do some scavenging now. I was gonna scavenge while I was low. Well, the zombie I took was low, but there you go. <laughs> I know lethal. What the hell? This post-apocalyptic land. These portions. Yes, that salmon fed someone for a single hour. Ridiculous. Oh, 
so glad to see my aiming hasn't gotten too awful since the last time I played this game. Good. I'm glad. I think that'll be fine. Let's go. Wait. How's well, the station wagon? Looks pretty rough. Oops. Thud. B. Let's go. Spend some time cleaning guts out of the car. Okay. Just dropped, just decided to get shot by a stray bullet, you know, as you do. Action hero. We've, we've, we've had this one before. That was a few months ago, it was the last time I played this, before I bought, like, the complete edition of this. Uh, someone did go through and timestamp, like, all the times where it saved a bullet. Is it worth the $80? <sighs> I don't think so. I don't think so. No. So we're not gonna buy that. We're gonna use our money on other more valuable things. In this particular case, I'm not gonna buy all the fuel. Because we could use that. Jobs, what you got for me? Recovery? Recovery for a bunch of money. Okay, let's do it. In the long run, Boo Bear, particularly since it'll take up a slot of mine that I could put something else in, yeah, I don't think it's worthwhile. Hell do I know though, right? Boop. Where's Libby at? Boop your nose. Damn it, Libby. Unless I do an endless run. Oh, yeah. I, I I don't think ammo was ever my problem whenever I did endless runs. Always ran out of something else. <laughs> It's almost like a milk run. I like this little walking animation we got going on here. It's a little shuffle. Mm. Nope. I'm not gonna bother. You just get back there in line with the rest. I know. Where's the people shop? Casually strolling, as you do. Watching out for them there zombie hands poking out of the ground. Alright. Flush with cash now. Med kits, 33. Seems reasonable. I don't think I'm gonna buy scrap or food here, though. Ammo. I mean, for $48, we can just buy 80 more bullets, which will probably be more than we end up saving through Action Hero, right? We'll buy that much ammo. We'll buy an extra med kit. We'll call it a day. Just drop there. Uh, we're actually just gonna outright med kit instead of uh, wasting some time resting. Just gonna slap a med kit on it. You liked it, then you should have put a med kit on it. That's how the song goes, right? Do keep in mind that we did spend $80 for a perk that would give us medkits occasionally while scavenging. We've yet to see one. That's ammo there. That's a lot of scrap we need for. Alright, yeah, sure. <laughs> Works for me. Feed my Frankenstein. Sir. Hurt. <laughs> All right, Lethal. <laughs> 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 
I don't think you're actually BRBing, though. I think you were making a joke about something you saw on the screen. Yeah. Just like noping the hell out of there. Nope, 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 nope. I think that was my microwave. I'll be right back. It's all yours, champ. Like, well, that's good. The zombie pounce sound. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's leave. It doesn't really seem like the angle I want to take here. But if I gotta, then I gotta. Oh, bye, gang. So, everyone. Hope you're doing well. A lovely night here. Playing some Oregon Trail. But a fairly successful, family-friendly night. Up to this point, of course, Oregon Trail. It's a bit grislier. Not too grisly. But we end up having to tackle issues of ethics and morality and killing people. You know, which is far more different than cartoonish things. Oregon Trail 2 did uh, cause me to flub up a few times. I was just so relaxed with the game, you know? It is, it is amusing to me how well we did at Oregon Trail 2, despite it seeming like everything was falling apart. Everyone just ended up in good health. You know what? The loss of people is not as important as the, the maintainment of integrity. Okay. <laughs> Nearby zombie triggers a mine. Everyone is hit by debris. Okay, sure. Well, they didn't. Auto shop. Less likely for tires to break. Get out of my face with your trash. Recovery dangerous for two petrol rigs. I know, we, like, collect all their belongings and sell them for, like, loot and shit. Right, so Mr. Boo back there is really catching up. Hopefully he stays caught on the the rest of the zombie army and doesn't shake loose. Not a fan of the little guy there. Ah, oh, damn it. I knew that was going to be the end of me. Disappointed! Damn, bit my ankle. I like that ankle. Oh no. That was my favorite ankle! It had a tattoo on it and everything. To get a prosthetic. Prosthetic ankle. I could have shot at the little one again before it got me. I think I was just hoping that I'd manage to escape from. Also, what the shit is this? Other than suffering. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, this isn't my ankle anyway. It's Death or Glories. I think it's a suitable name enough to be leader here. Death or Glory. Right, look at the survival shuffle. Look at this game. <laughs> Not again. What, what are you doing up there? Ah! <laughs> Tricked me. Not spooked so easily. Boom. Ah. Thought you said you weren't spooked so easily. No. Thud. 
Blood. Bait. Be a bait in my dick. Let's go. All right. Faster movement, huh? And I'm still in a radiation area. So I don't want to scavenge a whole lot. I just want to go as fast as I can. I didn't do any resting before leaving the site. Nuts to it. Something, something, YOLO. I'll oh, just burn through our medkits, you know? Sure, let's look through that. Let's look at the grave. Your line is rich in energy, side. Nom, nom, nom. Hello again, Darkfire Phoenix. How's it going? That's right, I said hello again. It's so rare whenever I do that. Do you only glow once? Muffler's broke, able to fix it. Darker man's. Battery start making a strange noise, but appear to still be working. That's good. Some food goes bad. Today's sermon, run. That faster movement that I can't get because I'm kind of broke. That's a lot of bodies. Is there like a sprite limit on this map, yo? Oh, no! Shrub! Shrub! Damn you, shrub! Got caught on the hitbox, but I'm on beam! Battery is found in me! Wow, pretty good accuracy in this defense run. Wow. Okay. Was that my first miss? Might have been. All right, I'll take it, yeah. Okay, ah. Decided I'd apparently overachieve that time, I guess. Ammo is now for nine. You only miss once. Anyway, doesn't really seem like I'm actually gonna be able to get that faster movement, y'all, unless I stay around here. And try to go get some money in the radioactive land, which would kind of be lamentable. So unless the, the heavens start vomiting cash at me, which I'm seeing a distinct lack of cash vomit, like Sky Finance here, I am Akiyama. Give me the money. Put it in the bag. Gonna be broadcasting tomorrow, Lethal? I ask since uh, this week's been a busy one for you. Doing other things. surgery then. Good. That's a stupid statement for me, huh? It's like, no, it failed, Griffith.
<laughs> the open heart surgery strove to be average. Bye bye. See you later. Or not. Maybe I'll never see you again. I also don't have a stepdad. Like Lethal does. My mom just has a boy toy, it's different. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess so much for me getting faster movement here, huh? Whatever. Let's go. And this horrid radiation area full of death and suffering. It starts raining heavily. No. No. Go fake. Boop. Go with my assortment of things. I know nummies. Nom, 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 nom. Whip. Damn you, zombie. Sad. Oh yeah, Lethal. I'll totally win the uh, the Big Mouth Bass Championship at this rate. <laughs> Still raining, huh? While it's zombies feasting on shit, folks are getting radiation sickness. That's good. This whole raining thing is not working too well for my speed. No, the lead character's not gonna die, it's fine. Go in. Yep, everyone's just soaked in radiation. Them's the brakes whenever you drive into radiation land. Just wanted to mix it up, you know? Do something interesting with my life for a change. It's a damn pity that the, the main character does not heal naturally on their own. Oh, man. At least the sky cleared up. That's good. Go, 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 go. We're now in Omaha. What upgrade do you have here? Party members in front take one less damage? I don't. Don't really see the point or value. You know, this run might not take damn four hours if I keep driving through radioactive land like this. Might actually be a way to speed up our trip. Yeah! Savvy, Grimmett. That failed. Oh no. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't like being pinned here on the edge. Oh, this is bad. Gotta walk through the radiation. No, 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 no. It burns. feel as if we're making a lot of progress here. I don't feel as if we skipped, like, any real awesome destinations. We're just driving in radiation hell at this point. This is awful. Like, we- like, I thought we might have, like, cut across. No. No, of course not. We're just here, in the shit. This sucks. 
What do you want from me, Horde? You're docile. Fuck you. I know it's massive. But they're docile. Well, we tried sneaking through the last light caught one and it didn't work out. Rest in peace, station wagon. My character is gonna die from radiation sickness. Playing no need. Yep. The game's like, this is the path you chose, my friend. much care for this track. I'm aware everyone has radiation sickness. I get it. Believe me, I get it. It's been gotten. Gotta speed, gotta speed, gotta speed right now. Oh yeah. A free tire. It's a brand new tire. Da -da -da. Abandoned Railway. Nothing new he can teach me. Still haven't found that med kit, despite all of our scavenging, folks. Oh, they've definitely changed the layout for this. Oh, this looks cool. Ah, this definitely looks different. I like it. I like it. Add some nuance here. Get out of my face, scrub. I know court <laughs> courtyard nuance added. Glad we could get that with a DLC. Sound effects, 100% necessary, everyone. <sighs> Stop ducking! care about what how awesome cool things might be here or anything. We're gonna buy that fuel and then we're gonna sail away. Oh, I'm sure. No. No, I'm sure. What the hell? We'll go to Wichita. We'll, we'll stay in the radiation. Fuck it, I can. Nope, not happening. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> oh no, it's raining. Now we're gonna drive more slowly. Alright, Mew, you came in here earlier. Yes. You've been here for one of my broadcasts before. Not for any real length of time. Exciting to see here, boss. Don't do it. Oh, no. Is it mysterious, JG? Ooh, baby. Everyone is positively glowing. Yes, we have spent quite some time in radiation land. 
But don't worry, we'll break free. Oh no. I was gonna use that to remove some radiation from people. Dude, you can't just be disappearing the medkits like that. This is not a point and click, really. It's... Oregon Trail. Uh, only instead of Oregon, it involves zombies and radiation. Oregon Trail. Oh no, spooked. Boop. Hmm. Oregon Trail. It's been around for a few years in various forms and incarnations. It's pretty enjoyable. I like it. So probably didn't hear my answer then. Oh, another layout. Fascinating. Well, it's been Oregon Trail. <laughs> it's a trail involving Oregon. Organs, yes. Mother Hubbard. No, you're 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 everyone's still alive. Just uh, not for lack of trying. Not for lack of trying. Someone decided they wanted to sit on the last med kit we have left, so some folks might be dying of radiation sickness pretty soon. I think I'm gonna actually have to have to leave. As fun as it might be to take that extra shortcut, I think we have to leave the radiation. Or try to. I think we're gonna lose some folks to radiation sickness though, which means I'll get an achievement. That's good. I like achievements. Really? <laughs> really? Okay, game. Why not? That's why, one of the many reasons why I go as fast as I possibly can in this game. Because the random events are usually trash. Nova there. Mm. Well, just dropped. We're looking pretty good. Looking pretty good, just dropped. Thief then steals a battery from the car. And then finally to top it all off a speed bump. Well, everyone, good news in the station wagon's about damn broken. That's right, Lethal. But at least we're just outside radiation zone now, so that's good. Faster bullets. Bullets travel 50% faster. Don't ask why. Fix my car up a little bit. Oh. Two fix your car. Of things. Let's go, zombies. Free car repair. No risk. All game. My car definitely needs some fixes. He'll take the mashed potatoes and the green beans. You did it! <laughs> How much did that fix it? It's not insignificant. Let's do it again. I know, right? Now we see most. We did it. Du, 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 du. We went and ran over the zombie horde. Yeah, we did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah. 
I'm singing right now so I don't get bored. Yeah, we did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah. Tremendous Griffith. Top score. Didn't do as well this time. Well, I still got in the 90s range. That's good enough for me. Ah, I actually did better that time. 98. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> that, that sounds like effort to me. Alright, we're, we're selling med kits here. We're selling plenty of things. You know what I like to see, speaking of med kits? A med kit. You know what I have a scavenging for? A med kit. You know what I haven't seen since I invested that $80? A med kit scavenge. Just throwing that one out there, game. I mean, if you could just, uh... When you tell me I would sometimes see a thing, I'd like to kind of see that thing. Whatever. I need to do my chip bag. Just kidding. Will my greed get the best of me? Yes! Dude, I know, right? The amusing thing, uh, Lethal, is that uh, whenever I uh, did my Oregon two Trail 2 run, and it was, uh, I had the leader BJ2, everyone arrived in California in 100% good health. No one died. It was great. Highly successful. I know, <laughs> that's how you know it's a game. No. This is what happens whenever you decide to scavenge with deadly activity. But I would like to see a medkit, you know? I was promised occasional medkits. I don't know the answer to that question. Excuse me? Sir. Sir. He stole my scrap. It had my name on it and everything. Okay, it said Death or Glory's name, but still. Sir. I guess I'll settle for $20. For what we want to sell, nothing but broken dreams. When? Okay, question. <laughs> oh, okay, lethal. Makes sense now. I mean, it certainly makes the scavenging mechanics more entertaining if, uh, well, since you have to deal with the fact that a bandit will come out and try to steal the loot as well, I guess, it's certainly more of a challenge. So yeah, there's that. My super pitch of greatness? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I broadcast a wide variety of different games. I, I, uh, I really have. Like, strategy games are my preferred genre of video games to play, but whenever it comes to live broadcasting, eh, I think so. I think that was a pretty strong pitch. It's kind of better than go fuck yourself or get fucked. I'm not trying to sell myself to anyone. It's about I think it's a chance of catching my fancy. Family stream? No, no, it's no longer set to family friendly, Agazar. 
We, we flip that off whenever I switch to Oregon Trail. You can't be family-friendly and Oregon Trail at the same time. That hasn't stopped me from trying before a few months ago, but really, no. You just wanted to know what's up? I... Alright, what's up with you? That's right. Now don't, don't go too overboard here. I didn't accelerate to 18 plus, we're still on team. No. no, Shrub! Shrub betrayed me once again. I have lost so much health. Meaninglessly. I'm still looking for this damn med kit, I'm promised. This is worse than Action Hero was. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Last second save? Yeah, I, I'm kind of expecting some medkits to come here since I spent $80 buying that very expensive perk. How am I? Well, <laughs> running a little fever. Kind of sick a bit. <laughs> I reckon. <laughs> Been better, been worse. I'm here. Playing a video game. Been playing video games for a few hours now. Probably keep going for a few more hours. I'll I'll see what I can do, no promises. Still think about it actually. Maybe maybe I won't get better. I know, I'd like a refund. Yeah, yeah. What a great perk. Mm-hmm. Occasionally see medkits. This is why I like to know the odds. Always tell me the odds. Except when I tell you not to tell me the odds. Or when it would be too obtuse to know the odds. But then, then tell me the odds. Let's buy another medkit, I guess. Just shoveling money down my lead character's throat here when I wanted to heal these folks. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Make it scavenger, you know? It's great. The dark green bar, that's radiation damage. I'm not even gonna bother fishing. Just sleep. pretty good shape except for the fact that just drop got bitten how does radiation disappear uh, you use a med kit or the slow passage of time as far as I can tell uh, if your character if the the character becomes too radiated they flat out die I've not seen it before myself this is the most radiation damage ever taken I'm being a little bit sloppy with my gameplay There is an awkward silence. That's good. Vorkat, really? Quit telling sad stories. Start telling happy stories. Be happy. Someone farted. Congratulations. I don't need to know that. That's like useless esoteric knowledge that someone in my chat would tell me. And I would ban them for that. <laughs> or at least scold them. Very sternly. Um, the infection means that if the character drops to such a low health that they become incapacitated, they'll pretty much turn into a zombie. I also do believe it means they'll heal uh, slower, yes. They become a liability. So don't be a liability. Hmm, let's just go to the strip club. Whatever. You must cross a horde of zombies. Bring out the guns and clear a path. It's only moderate. We might be able to clear that. We probably won't. We're about to collide all those zombies right there. No? No? Okay, good. You actually were meaningful for once in your lives, people. 
Let's head to the strip club. A titty bar. I think we could have been here a bit quicker if I was willing to just sacrifice everyone's lives and radiation hell, but such is life. We didn't get the med kits I was hoping for. Oh, we found some money in the glove compartment. That's good. The thief promptly stole it. I'm sure, two dollars. Let's move on. Bye bye. Take care. Charming old man and lose track of time, and that's a lie right there. Your battery dies. You replace it from supplies. See, the events in this game, they're just constantly like. Do that one more time. being awfully tolerant of someone who's been bitten by a zombie and infected. Just throwing that out there, Just Drop. Just throwing that out there. If you do anything wasteful again, I will just drop you. close to a hundred rounds of ammunition you have just squandered along with your life. <laughs> Doesn't want to share ammo even though I'm really the only one who's firing the gun. We're now down to 72 bullets. Can't even process how much of a waste of my life you are. You miscounted? I guess you should have learned how to do math, then. We'll count this. I know. Burn through all of that ammo, plus a whole fuel can, which is four hours worth of travel. I'm not exactly sure whether we'll be able to make it to the strip club before we run ammo. I think we're too far away. Not ammo. Fuel. We're certainly not looking that good on ammo anymore, either. Not after all the ammunition got set on fire. Fucking pieces of shit. 
Supply don't take you anywhere, Jet. Well, then you can get dropped here, too. <laughs> Nova has dysentery. That's the first actual sickness we've seen so far in this playthrough, other than radiation. Now, okay. Sure. Was just dropped a lucky charm. <laughs> one of my mufflers or one of their fuel? Sure. Now the muffler breaks. All right, we made it to the titty bar. All right, let's go after that money. Oh yes, the shrubbery of blocking my path sure why we couldn't shoot above those obstacles, but whatever. Let's just leave. How's the... Okay, it's not too bad. We can afford to take a hit. Although I don't know why I'm doing a suicidal defense. Probably because I'm stupid. Hmm. Meant to do that. Actually, this longer reload's gonna get me killed. Because I haven't been firing fast enough. Here we go. Dead. That's what I get for trying to use something other than the rifle without a quicker reload time. That's a sloppy mistake on my part. Ah, oh, boy. run. Right. Yeah, yeah, seven other scrap for two of my med kits. Yeah, okay, I'll get right on that jam. With all those med kits I have. Wait a second. Good, you occupied that guy. He can stay nomin for all I care. Keep going, I guess. What was like? What else am I gonna do? I'll keep going. Say, well, I'll just lay down and die here at the strip club. Whatever, <laughs> as you do. Oh boy, roll of duct tape. Woo! Rome is built off of such miracles. Ah! 
Damn. Thought I had that. Damn. Close. Rest in peace. Keep scavenging. Ain't done yet. Ain't no party like a scavenging party because no other party gives you stuff. I don't think you got this, champ. Caruso. What exactly is even going on with that image? I'm not sure whether the zombie's breathing like a purple flame. Shrubs and rocks. My character's just like, oops, I tripped. Oh. No, no birthday party. Gives you nothing but broken dreams. It's big to broken dreams. Not entirely dissimilar to their current situation right here. Or I'd like to buy that med kit, but uh, I'm gonna let go. <sighs> My character, Lee character, is not that far away from uh, collapsing, taking too much damage. The stream scene. <laughs> Oops, thud right there at the end. Mess. Still a. A good job. Albuquerque it is. Uh -huh. Got stuck in a ditch. You can always hit up one of my VODs later. Grimoth can be later, unless something ends up being broadcast exclusive. I know, that special medkit ability. $80 really has come in handy. So glad I bought that at the start of the game. Really thought that'd pay off. Now sure, I'll save all this money that I'd otherwise burn on medkits that'd be really expensive or non-existent at the end of the game. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, mm-hmm. Totally has paid off for me. I'm glad I totally made that fucking investment. I'm not better at all. No, no, I'm not better. Why would I be better? Just a video game. That's all. Not a big deal. Just, just enjoying myself. Just having fun. As you do. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> Although we might actually finish this run by 10. Because of the extra shortcutting I took. Which means that we did save some time after all. I'm not used to a run being done this quickly though. We'll see though. Still got a few more miles, thousand miles left to go. Another A. A beautiful success! Join us! <laughs> 
I need to put that on my resume, Lethal. Shows considerable patience and skill. Oh, medkit! Here, boy. Here, boy. Here, medkit, boy. Medkit can... You know, another scavenging ground without a med kit. I'm actually, I'm actually hoping the trend just continues, and we'll scavenge like, oh, I don't know, at least 50 times over the course of this playthrough. No med kit. You know, whatever. Sure. I mean, it's only occasional. Who knows what occasion really means though in this grim dark era, right? I was gonna rest. It's occasional, you understand. Still sandstorm. You know what, we'll just rest for like three hours. And the sandstorm will probably be gone by then. I can take a, a little bit of time to recognize the fact that the it's gone, as it were. Shame the lead character doesn't heal at all. You know, like an actual Oregon Trail. Oh, packaged snacks. We found some yum yums, everyone. Eat them up. <laughs> Welcome to Albuquerque. What up, Gray? Tell you I have a fair price. <laughs> what kind of jobs do you have that I can fail? For seven dollars and some ammo, if I manage to take better shots. Take better shots. still in that game. Alright, yeah, I'll get right on that. Oh, look, $80. <laughs> Let's buy this crummy med kit for $52. And slap it on the main character. Let's go see if we can find a med kit. Sell food for med kit. Well, we might after this now. We'll see what the prices of food are like here. Oh, that's, that's overkill. I'll leave that for a bandit. The shopping cart's enough. Hey bandit, if you want to come get eaten, that, that can be yours. I say as I didn't go grab this chippy bag. <laughs> I like multiple bandits walking off like that. One's like moonwalking away like, whoa, 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 sir. That's clearly your reward.
Hey, men who wear tiny hats. Where's our occasionally appearing med kit that gets vomited out at us? I'm asking for a friend. You know, just curious. Hello. Welcome to the Oregon Trail. Alright, that'll be good enough, I reckon. Yeah, pay $66 for that. Good hell game. I don't much care for the body armor perk, but I don't much care for the action hero perk guy that was available the other location, so we'll just go this way. No, hey, we're surrounded by zombies again. Ah, oh, bye. They won't. This all started when Just Drop decided to fail the team. I'm not saying it's your fault, Just Drop, but it's your fault. <laughs> yeah, he actually decided to swap teams. You're right, you're right. Oh, hey, we survived the attack. We, we got nothing for it, really. We had a muffler. Good thing we had the foresight to trade for one of those. Good, good. The station wagon's about to break. That's good. No. I'm kind of actually looking for scrap. So let's go scavenging at one in the morning because the station wagon's gonna break. Hi. Just... Are you fucking kidding me? I hate this thing so much. <laughs> Shitty little booze. So glad I bought this extra cool, awesome Wizard Jesus Ponage version. I could be trolled by the damn game. Just break. Let's investigate. I'll spend a bullet on that. station wagon's broken. I don't have... Oh, I do have food. What the hell am I talking about? Plenty of fuel now. That's good. That's good. Hey, I kind of need some scrap game. Just throw that one out there, game. Kinda need some scratch to repair the station wagon game. Just kinda suggesting that. Oh, and maybe, you know, maybe a med kit, you know? Maybe you just rained med kits down from the heavens. That'd be pretty neat, considering that I spent $80 to have a chance for you to rain med kits down on me. So, for me to see occasionally and read 0% here, 
kind of, kind of making me a bit salty, game. But you could fix this. You have the possibility to fix this. All you have to do is start raining medkits down. It doesn't cost you anything, game. I, you know, I already paid for it, everything. I mean, just it's up to you. Like, do your part, game. Shower me. Yes, with all the scrap I have. It's not exactly like I need tools to repair my vehicle to actually keep going in this video game. Oh, wait, yes, I do. For one of my muffler. Sure. Why not? This will keep me going for a little bit, and then I'll repair it. This will keep me going for like two hours, I think. Alright, it was only one hour. That's fine. For four of my scrap. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Get rid of my scrap for an extra battery. You piece of shit. I should have just stolen your car. Like, where's that option here in my apocalyptic wasteland? To just steal someone's car. Can I do that? This is mine. Right. And, you know, I could drive slower so the station wagon takes less damage, but on the flip side, then I'm exposed to more random events that effectively deal damage to me all the same. Really? Oh, what, I shot the cannon and prevented me from shooting the bandit? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> the canned food saved the bandit. I mean, why not, right? Open container, pour salt. It's not exactly as if we needed the can anyway with the shopping cart and all, but, you know, just spitting in my face while you're at it. Could you maybe give me the resources I'd like to fix my vehicle? You haven't even given me a whole lot of scrap here. I mean, like, I could repair the vehicle if you just gave me more scrap, but you're not. It's been a really crummy run. Scrap? No. No. Okay. Time to get tagged again by that. Rest in pieces, ammo. much of worth here. Can only go up from here. No! No, it can still go down. Can still very much go down, thank you. I've done this before on difficult and not had this kind of difficulty. halt like this before in the game. God, this is such a painful trade. Five scrap. For two fuel. Yeah, okay, boss. 
All right, let's set the pace to slow. Gonna have to concede this one. Looking forward to a random event, just, just taking the wheels out from beneath my car. Spare parts, I reckon. So much for finishing this run before ten. And maybe doing another run of Oregon Trail. Oh boy. Not after how this game has made me feel tonight. the hell I'm gonna do. I might just leave. My throat really does hurt. Quite frankly, I'm actually surprised I've had energy as well as I had today. Considering how sickly I've been this week. Although, my version of sickly is far different than other people's version of sickly. Like, lethal is, is sick, like, on a regular basis. Like, you could sit in your calendar by, uh, by lethal sicknesses. <laughs> Me, I've been so sick since my childhood that my immune system is strong. You have noted that, and I am, I'm glad to hear that, lethal. I'm glad that you've, uh, you've, you've whipped your body back into shape. I'm selling more food because it's the only thing I have. Do you have any scrap? You do. What a waste of money, though. $12 for just one piece of scrap. I, I don't really have any other recourse, though. man. Oh, well, we got more food at least. We'll buy some ammo. 20 shots can serve me well. Let's see, I've used 5 here. 6. Do it again. Maybe we'll find a med kit. Wouldn't that be something? Oh, we found some scrap. Eh, that works too. You can kind of tape the station wagon back together. I know the pieces. How now? get caught on that tree that's cheating. Ah, 15 scrap. We can make dreams come true with this. I hope. problem I have with driving this slow too is that every hour spent driving consumes 0.25 units of fuel. Regardless of how quick you're driving. Which means that uh, it's 
spending a longer time on the road results in burning through more fuel. Which I then have to replace anyway. So I'm kind of like at a fucking impasse here. I need more ammo. I need a lot of things. I need a lot of things, Nova. That's the only ammo I'm buying here, so I guess that takes care of that. Well, I mean, this is the zombie apocalypse. It's 30, 45, or 60 that we're getting. Probably should set this to normal piece, I think. I got more fuel than I really do scrap, I guess. I love Ninja Fox Master. Or I need to keep the scrap alive. I can't go losing fucking health to someone and then lose half of my earnings on top of that. I have to shoot everything. No, too close to the edge. Nope, I'm not gonna go after it. Good, 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 good. Five miles. That'll take me quite a few hours. Ugh. That's gonna rip through my fuel. Whereas if I travel at ultra quick speed, that's like ten hours, which is. Uh, well. Again, it's a matter of the fact that I don't have scrap. I think I'm gonna switch back to turbo speed, though. Again, I don't want to risk running into too many damn, uh, terrible events. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'm not going anywhere. Maybe I'm just gonna scavenge now that there's a fucking blizzard. scavenging that much because I am so low on ammo, which is a rare concept for me. I wouldn't be that low on ammo if, you know, a certain someone didn't decide to set 90 plus bullets on fire. Plus the bullet I had to use to shoot his ass. settles it. I'll travel, well, I'll travel after all of this hubbub is done. The trails we played today? Probably Oregon Trail the Lines. I think it's the most fun. Uh, Oregon Trail 1.2. Uh, like, I'm okay if, like, I don't have a problem with not being able to abuse a trade system. My problem with Oregon Trail 1.2 is that attempts to rest and recover your health can result in you getting sicker and dying. But just like, uh, I'm not saying it's historically inaccurate. I'm just saying it's annoying gameplay-wise. Oregon Trail 2 has way too much loose inventory management for me. Uh, the old Oregon Trail, which is before Deluxe that I played, um, I don't know, 
doesn't really appeal to me. Although the hunting minigame is pretty intense, especially at the, cl the CPU clocks I got going. In this game, just... It's alright. I, I have fun with it, I'll play it, but it's also like... These runs can just end up dragging down into tedium and exhaustion for me. Play Oregon Trail Deluxe. Oregon Trail Deluxe does, I mean, suffer from some easiness problems. So there is that. Like, I wouldn't mind, like, Oregon Trail Deluxe, like... I would enjoy Oregon Trail 1.2 the most, except for the fact that whenever I rest, all of the health falls apart and everything forever. Like, I could handle the hunting minigame, you know, I could handle trade being harder, so I couldn't abuse it. That's all fine and well. But, oh boy, I better stop and rest. Blam! Got sick and died. Really? Well, that's good. That's highly descriptive. Got sick and died. That's so empowering. I'm glad. Ten ammo. Starting to droop. Ain't done. Oh, what do you know? I'm surrounded by zombies again. Oh, what do you know? Another bad event. Really strongly confirms that I just want to keep going turbo speed. This fucking game. Hey, MK. Things are going pretty well. Just defending my station wagon right now and... Oregon Trail. After a long broadcast day of Oregon Trailing. Now we're fighting zombies. Yes, uh... It's been in a few incarnations over the years. Obviously a, uh... A teen spooky-themed, uh, version of Oregon Trail. Uh, where the, um... Where the United States has been overcome by zombies and radiation. And, uh, you're hoping to find a safe haven, uh, starting on the East Coast and traveling towards the West Coast. We're, uh, we're a little roughed up. Uh, these, uh, the campaign uh, can take some time. But that's okay. Just trying to scavenge for a few more supplies and resources around here. Yes, pretty much so. Uh, you've got a number of, like, horror tropes, uh, like, callbacks and references, whether it's, like, uh, Resident Evil or, uh, like, Army of Darkness, like the Evil Dead series, uh, stuff like that. Like, a lot of, like, tongue-in-cheek jokes. I think this was a Kickstarter game uh, some years back. It used to be like a Flash game. And uh, now it has like a Director's Cut edition of it on Steam, which I'm currently playing. The game has added some nuance and complexity to it over the years, but at default it's an action style game that's an homage not just to like Oregon Trail, but to like horror movies that have come before it. Yeah, Ninja Fox Master. You know what? He deserved that. He did. Anyway, uh, we've got a varying amount of supplies. There's a number of illnesses in the game, of course, uh, fitting along with Oregon Trail. In addition, members of your party can also become infected, and if they drop too low in health, they will turn into a zombie. Uh, furthermore, in addition to health and resource management, you also have a few, like, ethical choices. Uh, humanity can end up being just as much of a threat to you in this game as uh, the actual zombies are. Sort of playing on the theme that you might see in, say, The Walking Dead, where after, like, so long, it's no longer the walkers that are much of a problem, it's actual humanity. Uh, to that end, you also have some morbid things, like, I can choose to kill members of my party. Say, for example, if they've been infected, or, uh, for any other reason, really. 
uh, Just Drop as one such example uh, I put down. Uh, Just Drop was infected uh, and uh, he was wasting some of my resources. Uh, but the game does involve some resource management uh, as well as health management as well. So it has uh, strategy elements to that regard. But primarily it's, you know, like a survival themed thing, sort of like how Oregon Trail is. Only it's less about edutainment and more about like, the entertaining homage. We're currently speeding across the countryside right now, uh, trying to get to the west coast. I, here we go, I can pull up the road map. Uh, starting over here in Washington, D.C., and heading up there for a place called Safe Haven. Uh, we've traveled quite a distance, just bobbing and weaving through all the varying obstacles, even going into some radiation areas for a time. Uh, we're probably still like another thousand miles to go. Uh, these campaigns can get pretty lengthy and exhausting, but it can be entertaining and enjoyable throughout the way. I'm, I'm having fun, despite my frustrations. It's currently raining, and I don't have an upgrade to uh, make my vehicle travel faster. So I think I'm going to give myself a nap. Maybe there's a place I can fish around here? Alright, there's a place I can fish. Whee! Fishing minigame is something that was added in the... <laughs> newest version of uh, Oregon Trail. I am not too familiar with it. It's something you can do while resting and you can catch various things like a tire. Neat. I hope that's like a universal tire. Like universal ammo. Uh, how much scrap do I have? 38. I can actually afford to repair the vehicle here a little bit. I know free tire. I'm not going to complain. Oregon Trail has that uh, mentality behind it. Now I'm starting to talk and I'm losing my focus on that repair minigame to repair my station wagon. Um, it has a mentality that I subscribe to, uh, how I play it, called finish the game as soon as possible. There's a lot of random events in the various Oregon Trail games, and that carries over to Oregon Trail as well. The longer you play the game, the more likely you are to encounter a random event, and those are slated to be negative towards you constantly draining away your resources, constantly eating away at your health. So the longer you spend in gameplay, uh, the more likely you are to perish and fail. Uh, and so with that in mind, I travel as fast as I can. I don't care about health. I whip everyone into a frenzy. I just go. I uh, damn the consequences because I would rather do that and then suffer all of the random events that I can hit in this game. So we are currently flying down the road uh, at turbo speed, which in the rain is a whopping 30 miles per hour instead of 60. And that's because, as you might imagine, due to the whole zombie apocalypse occurring, all the roads are cluttered by debris and zombies, and you have to, like, like wade through all those obstacles. Occasionally you'll encounter rivers of zombies, uh, a la Oregon, Oregon Trail, where you have to, like, ford it or what have you or try to sneak through. As for how all you unlock the other cars, I presume it's just like natural gameplay or uh, just accomplishing some of the achievements built into the game. Just as I imagine you unlock some of the other characters too. And some other complexities added with the director's cut version of Organ Trail. Let's see what else. All right, I'm forced to slow down. We did find some extra money in our station wagon at least though. That was pretty nice. We just need to go to a place where we can really spend the money. Is there any trades open to us right now? As much as I hate to give away that scrap, I might lose that battery. I didn't have a replacement battery, so I'll go ahead and grab that. <laughs> Vorkat constantly telling everyone bad stories. Yeah, this game's definitely tongue-in-cheek. It doesn't treat itself seriously. Uh, it's too busy paying an homage to the zombie horror genre and to movies of old. Music cue has changed, which means we're not too far from the end of the game. I don't have enough money to learn a special technique here. What kind of jobs do we have? Suicidal difficulty recovery, but the payment's actually in a med kit, which is immensely useful for me, and so I will risk it. 
then murder you. I warned you of the consequences of your actions, and uh, <laughs> you chose to do them anyway. It's not my fault you were bitten by a zombie. I can't save you at that point. You were infected. You were one of them. So, there's some radioactive areas. We're not in one of those right now. Overcomplicate the process. There's like a radiation damage thing. But in effect, everyone has a health bar. When their health drops to zero, they become incapacitated. They're effectively on death's door. Say something like Darkest Dungeon. Uh, if they're infected as a zombie at that time, they'll turn into a zombie. But otherwise, they can perish. You, of course, can die through like radiation damage, a whole variety of different things. Uh, illnesses, uh, just as you can in Oregon Trail. Uh, but this game is more fair in not just having your characters effectively just get sick and die, like some of the Oregon Trail games are. So in some senses it's more fair and has, you know, better gameplay design, and in other senses it's really still gnashing of teeth. In part it's due to the game's immense length, uh, compared to an actual run of Oregon Trail. Um, even if you sit down with something like Oregon Trail 2, which is one of the longer ones, you're maybe looking at a run of like an hour and 20 minutes, even if you don't really know what you're doing or understand. Uh, whereas with Oregon Trail, you can end up spending two, three hours on a run. I'm also immensely short on bullets. I've never been this low on bullets before in this entire game in all of my playthroughs. Thankfully, we found a box of tin. In part, my shortage of bullets is why just drops no longer alive. Are there any to buy here? There are. We're buying them. How much fuel do we have? Nine? Okay. We'll buy them all then. That should hopefully tide us over. We're going to repair the station wagon a little bit using our awesome cool station wagon minigame. In older versions of Organ Trail, uh, this minigame to repair the vehicle didn't exist. Instead, uh, it was like a gambling system. You risked an amount of scrap, and the game randomly generated based on how much scrap you spent whether the vehicle would be repaired at all. Uh, it wasn't skill-based at all, and as a result, caused me a great deal of frustration because it was all based on percentages instead of actually, like, you know, me learning the mechanics and nuances of a minigame. I prefer it much better. Um, let's see here. How much does food sell for here? I do have quite a bit of food. I'd probably grab a fuel cam. Or two? I don't really care about faster bullets. I care about faster reloading. We'll buy those. Burn my money. Actually, we'll sell more food. And we'll just keep that extra money around for the thing, I guess. What time of day is it? Low activity still, but we're gonna leave. Okay, Salt Lake's not too far. We're definitely somewhere near the home stretch. Death or Glory is the lead character of the party. Uh, the lead character does not regenerate health naturally in Oregon Trail only through the direct application of a med kit. Everyone else will get sick uh, over time and their health will like ebb and flow. This is actually one of the boss fights in the game. So maybe you were bored watching me just drive around normally. Now we can have zombie deer and dogs or wolves, or whatever, try to ram into the vehicle. Them doing so will deduct some health from the vehicle. Uh, if they should completely deduct all the health from the vehicle within this timed boss fight, uh, everyone's dead. I've actually seen that happen before. I think it was on an endless run a few months ago. The music is what broke your immersion. Nothing else up at this point.
Be strong, Grimoth. Be strong. So you remember all of that food we sold to buy those ammo boxes earlier. No, I don't either. Don't remember it at all. Still looking for that med kit to scavenge. I'm not resentful. Is that all you're gonna give me, game? Just food? Along with broken dreams? Capri Sun. Thanks. I'm not annoyed or anything. Except for the part where I'm annoyed. Even more. This is what I'm talking about, the random events. They're just constant, like, resource sappers. Just needling at you incessantly with, Oh, you left this behind. Oh, you lost this. Oh, this got stolen. Like, great. Oh, you lost a little bit of health because everyone hit their heads on the roof of the vehicle. Oh, ah, tragic. No slowdown from rubble. I don't think that really matters. Oh, deep defense. Two med kits and some ammo. I'm going to risk this. Oh, we're off to a bad start. I don't like doing defense missions on high difficulty because of the aiming system in this game. If you are unfamiliar with the Oregon Trail, you may enjoy or despise this explanation. The aiming system in this game is based on me clicking and dragging the mouse pointer in the opposite direction from which I want to fire. On suicidal difficulty, I do believe this aim guide disappears unless they've changed the game or I've simply forgotten. Forcing you to, well, eyeball your aiming. There's a few different types of weapons in the game. Uh, the rifle is a single shot reload. Heaven help you if you try to fire the rifle while you're in the process of reloading it. Anyway, we managed to successfully acquire some medkits. I'm looking forward to those probably being stolen or squandered or wasted in some fashion. fuel do we have? That doesn't tell me. Nine and a half. Okay. We probably have another two or three stops before the actual end of the game. I think it's two. Like two spot stops and then safe haven. And those have some distance to them. I think my fuel will be fine. Uh, problem is just going to be me running out of, well, car health. And ammo. I can't really do a whole lot of scavenging. Ugh. 800 miles. Okay, horde of zombies, they're large and agitated. Why don't we go ahead and wait? Of course, as we wait, uh, more time will pass in the day. They're probably not going to stop being this ravenous until, like, nighttime. Massive but docile. Alright, we'll try to sneak through them. They're docile. It's 
despite the heart being this massive. We have a we have a reasonable chance of escaping through all this. Okay, good. Great. I don't want to travel during the heavy fog. That's going to be an inefficient expenditure of my my vehicle's health as well as my fuel. But I don't really want to scavenge because I don't have any ammo. Oh, I'll take that. Surprised I'm taking that, but I'm taking it. Since we need to kill some time anyway, we'll just wait here, because we're pretty good health. Four of my scrap, yeah, right. One of my mufflers? If only you would accept one of my tires. I'm not trying to wait my ammo for that. We're burning through food now. Three of their scrap to offer for one of my muffler? No. One of their med kit for four of your scrap? Can't do it. Is the fog done now? Good. Well, good thing we had a bunch of tires left over. Slowed down to sneak past a group of bandits. Oh, Nova had some extra food hidden from them for themselves, huh? Ugh. Okay. We'll go ahead and stop here and uh, see. Ugh. Health. No, I'm not giving away that. Let's keep going. No. I'll, I'll trade the five scrap. I hope that doesn't break. Whew. Running low on food. I need to stop feeding people so much. Like, they've been at full health for a long time. You guys need to stop leeching. You can afford to lose some hit points, damn it. Akazar has dysentery. Seats ruined. Okay. The vehicle's probably gonna break before we reach the destination. We were so close. So close to our destination. Of course, there's a bit of a leak in a fuel tank as well. We we're low on food. I'll actually take this deal for food in exchange for one of my tires. I do have plenty of them. No. No. no I don't think so. Two of your... I don't have any... I have one scrap, okay? Doesn't help. No. I actually need the scrap. Not the other way around here, game. Let's try scavenging for it, despite the fact that it's ten. We found a sack of money. That's good. Think of all the things we can buy right outside the airbase with that money. Oh wait, we actually can't buy anything right outside the airbase. Imagine that. Hell, we might not even be able to buy anything in the airbase. Rest in pepperoni ammo. It's not exactly as if I needed this bullet, these bullets for anything anyway. Oh no. I think I burned through like 15 rounds of ammunition, closing on 20 before the end of this one scavenge. The other 15 scrap will actually carry me.
It's been such a bizarre run. I'm not exactly sure whether it's really the game that's gotten much harder, or whether it's because I decided to drive in the radiation as long as I did. Probably a little column A, a little column B. We did get money at least. At least I have money. Yeah, definitely so much for having finished this in like two hours, though. <laughs> That's back when I thought I wouldn't spend so much time, like, squeezing, like, every orange rind. Although I don't think this will take three hours. Ugh. Ugh. No scrap left. Set pace to slow, because we're not going to need that much juice to actually get there. It's only 18 miles. Yeah, at least we have a medkit scavenging perk, huh? The Zombies Ate My Neighbors reference there with that character in the front. $69 at least. Hmm. Pretty good health. I'll try it. 96 food. Doing this for 96 fucking food. I don't know whether the ammo I burn on this is gonna be worth it. I don't know whether I can even buy ammo here. If I make it to safe haven, ammo won't be a problem. Because of all the ammo pickups that drop during the finale. It's a matter of making it to the finale. Yeah, one of those fast bastards come hurtling out of the darkness there. Mm. Not even gonna risk it. Okay, good, I can buy ammo here. Sixty-one bullets, I think, will carry us to the finale. Do we need to buy fuel, you think? No, I don't think so. Even factoring in for some losses or fuel being stolen, that should be enough time of transit to allow me to get to my destination. Problem's gonna be car health. If I want to sell it, I, like... I have to sell 10 units of food for $4. No. I don't have a whole lot of food to spare anymore. So folks, as a reminder, I'm going to be doing two broadcast marathons next week. Uh, the first is planned for Wednesday. It'll begin basically whenever I wake up and I'm prepared to go, whatever time that ends up being. The second one will be on Saturday the 28th, I do believe it is. So not tomorrow Saturday, but the week after. And same rule there. That'll uh, begin whenever I'm ready to go. Normal difficulty, and um, continue and well, we could probably go for like 15, 16 hours. Both of them will. We'll see. And I'll play a different assortment of games, like clear out some stuff that I've never played before that I think might be interesting or fun. Just revisit some things. I'll be happening then. Uh, probably the week after that, though, uh, which will be the last week of January, first week of February. I won't be broadcasting at all to give uh, my throat a break. Well, I'm going to take care of a few other things. I gotta do. We'll sell a little bit of food. So I can buy what exactly? Like one unit of scrap? Like 
buy how many piles of scrap? Tell you what, I'll buy. I'll buy two whole piles of scrap with this money. Wow. <laughs> this car's so screwed. Sixteen hours of that game I'm not gonna buy? Yeah. You got it. How did you figure it out? <laughs> this is. Ten hours. Let's do it. Don't get me wrong, Civilization 5 is the most uh, disappointing game of my adult life, but Civ 6, whoo boy. It's like when you constantly pass, like, the IP, the lead design, from person to person to the thing, and they all try their own ideas. Somewhere along the way, they're not learning from, like, the prior mistakes of the person who designed the last game. Like, John Schaefer went and did his own thing, heavily inspired by Panzer General. Then years later, he's like, Well, you know, you know, Civ 5 truly have plenty of design flaws on him. I'm going to grab a bit. Then Civ 6, it has, um... You know, that board game, like, lead design mentality about it. But somewhere along the way, there's some lessons that have been lost. That's another conversation for another time, though. I don't feel like getting worked in about that. When I said Civilization V was the most disappointing game of my adult life, I meant Civilization V was the most disappointing game of my adult life. You can acknowledge all you want, it exists, but it's not the most disappointing game of my adult life. And that's firmly sealed in stone. That's, uh, that's a, that's a six-year educated, informed opinion that is solidified. There's no challengers to that. <laughs> Unless there's another new upcoming title that ends up taking that mantle. Nothing to this point has challenged that. Was my most favorite? That would be four from its for its technical uh, capabilities. Hmm. Rest in pieces, money gone forever. Civilization Four has been around since. 2006? Decade? 2005? 6? 5? 6? Yes, effectively so, Zan. This is the adult swim portion of the night. Where things are a little saucier, I reckon. <laughs> Alright, we made it. Hey there, welcome to Safe Haven. I'd let you in, but our power grid is down for maintenance. You need to power the bridge if you want to get in. There should be an old gas generator and some fuel lying around. Go gather it up and hurry. It looks like there's a horde heading this way. Alright, gather fuel and bring it back to the generator. You can carry two cans at a time, but only one person can come out. The party will replace you. If you fall, they will also provide covering fire from the station wagon. We are also dressed in hoodies, it seems. This is why I wasn't worried about uh, ammunition whenever I got to the finale. The game will vomit ammo at you. Did you die? Uh, well, it's certainly not impossible for me to get hit. I probably should have checked my car's health before engaging this finale, though. Yes, teammates also do not use the, all the ammo they've been hiding in every orifice of their body since game start. How is Civilization 6? <laughs> no. No. 
That's how Sim 6 was. No. You may have wanted a more informed or nuanced opinion, but it's, it's, it's not a conversation I'm going to get into. Other than a flat, no. I can deliver a compliment to it. It was technically more stable than Civilization 5 1.0 was. Civ 6 1.0. More stable than Civ 5 1.0. I can give it that. There, I said a nice thing. Because it's a trope from Left 4 Dead. That was Civ 5. Oh. What? No, I just told you that Civilization 6 1.0 was more stable at release than Civilization 5 1.0. Yeah. Look at all this radiation I'm gonna be able to walk over later. I guess the radiation damage doesn't matter. Glad well, this is a mechanic. Seems like if you spend too long in the finale, yeah, you just have radioactive footprints everywhere. I mean, why not, right? I'll just stand still. I'm sure nothing's ever come back from standing still. days of the game. This would be it. You plug the gas in the generator, all eight gas cans, you're good to go, you win. But that's no longer true. Told the car get I guess car health doesn't matter. Because suddenly this happens. No, it does matter. what I get for having such a damaged car come into this. I think we're actually going to lose this. Come on, Cthulhu. I'm not exactly sure where Cthulhu came from, or why he's the monster defending Safe Haven. But it's not my place to question the old ones. Well, Fluffy, we're not too far from that. This run ended up going a bit quicker than I thought, because I feel like I'd taken a few shortcuts along the way. No, now is not the time for you to itch. Itch in like five minutes. Damn you, Cthulhu! Just 
Suddenly, ta-da, Cthulhu's dead. You've unlocked 50 additional tombstones. Let's see about see here. And apparently they have a cure for the whole zombie infection thing, or at least they're working on it. Also, it's labeled safe, so how could it not be safe? A name has never lied. Never. <laughs> All right, Oregon, Oregon Trail, Director's Cut, Complete Edition on Difficult. My first time playing the Complete Edition campaign. It uh, was a little taxing. It didn't turn out to be as long as I thought it would. Again, I don't know whether it's because I... Again, I'm actually, I'm not really sure. I might have taken a radioactive shortcut, or maybe I just... beats me. It's kind of cool. I really didn't get much in the way of upgrades, though, at all. Like, no upgrades for the vehicle. Uh, and the only upgrade I bought for myself was near the beginning of the game, the medkit scavenger. That never triggered once. Which, uh, annoys me. A little. Definitely still does annoy me for a little. Yeah, Just Drop was our only death. And it's possible that uh, Just Drop could have survived uh, until the end of the game. But, uh, it was too wasteful. There's so many resources. I think so, Fo Daddy. I think bourbon is more than acceptable. The hell do I know, right? Oh, now I can skip you. Thank you for your permission, game. Absolutely. Ah. Uh... I think since I got enough energy. Uh, we'll do a bit of something else before I end this broadcast. Let's all stick out and go until midnight anyway. We discovered a lot of tombstones. We apparently unlocked 50 of them. That's good. Not if I care. As if I care about sifting through all those. I did start a new game, though. What would I have unlocked, by chance? Nothing. Nothing. Well, guess who's not doing that again? Me. Not tonight, anyway. Hmm. I guess I'll ring up uh, Death Road to Canada. Wrong person. I'm the wrong person to ask you. Yeah, you're right, but someone in chat might be able to give you more of a scoop. There's something added in the complete edition of the game. If you really cared enough, you could just Google it. Local recording end now.